of the complex tasks that you'll run into is extracting data from like a PDF that'll be somewhat unstructured. They might come in different formats, but maybe they have the same data labels to a degree. We could actually build a document processor with Microsoft Document Intelligence and a model hosted on Azure AI Foundry. How can we do it? We're about to do it now. Let's go. I'm going to go to Azure AI Foundry and get this set up. Okay, so we're going to create a resource group. Actually, we're just going to go and create the AI Foundry. And we're going to speed build this. All right, create a resource. We will just call it video processor. First thing that came to mind. And we'll give it a All right, so first project, and sort of adds this project name in there. So what we can do is just give it a It's probably not a good naming scheme, naming everything different, but this is not production, so we'll let it rip. You can run through all those creation steps. Okay, AI Foundry is set up, but now we're going to go get Doc Intelligence. There we go. Create it. Doc Parser. We'll give it the free tier. You get quite a few pages. It looks like they were at like a thousand at one point, but it's 500 now. All right, so this is already in use. We'll just give it something until, okay, there we go. Let this run in setup mode. Okay, so this is gonna be the doc parser. Now, we're gonna go and while that's deploying, go back to AI Foundry and click into AI Foundry. We're gonna to have to deploy a model and then we're gonna do one last step where we deploy Azure Logic Apps. So I've been using Nano lately. Let me double check when this loads. It takes a second. And so GPT-5 Nano, it's way faster than full-blown GPT-5. All right, so we have this. And this is one thing that's a little buggy about Azure is you have different resources where they're available. So I guess it's based on what they have at the server forms that are running this stuff capacity. We'll get this set up so it'll be a little different, but once you set up AI Foundry, it'll prompt you through all of it. Okay, and then we have an endpoint and then a URL which will come in helpful soon. So we, it looks like we have two nanos deployed from a prior thing. So. We'll make sure we have Nano 2 because that's the one we just deployed. We'll go get one other thing set up. Could probably just navigate back to the original. Okay, Logic Apps. All right. We'll add a consumption-based Logic App because there's no use to do standard workflow. They want you to do it probably from a price standpoint, if we're being honest. So let's go to video processor. We'll add this into the same group. Call it doc parser. And then just leave it to the default area that's fine unless you're a real stickler about the area that it's created in. So we'll create this and then we'll go back and run through the setup for everything. Okay, so we land in the canvas. 
We'll add an email trigger. When an email arrives at V2, one thing you want to make sure of is in these two email actions, you want to use one that is Office 365 Outlook if you're using a work account. Otherwise, it will not work. So let's add that action back in, and then we ought to, we'll run through the authorization to connect it. So we added the email action, and then we'll get the subject filter and we'll say report and we'll listen to the inbox only with attachments so the parameters are the subject filter that will add it in here importance any only with attachments yes include attachments yes and then that'll get us the ability to receive a document out of email only with this filter so that we could filter out if this is coming from a specific email address and or a specific subject. Actually, the if you were to get it from a specific email address, it would be the uh, from right here. Okay, so we'll save this. Then we will go and get our, we have our model deployed. We have our document processor set up but we need to get the endpoint there. But first we're gonna add document intelligence. And then analyze document with pre-built model. This is important. In reality, it's gotten Microsoft has gotten really good with these this it's kind of OCR, but they've gotten incredible with it. And I was using llama parse, but I'm not using llama parse anymore. I'm just using document intelligence because you get some free pages and then you also have the ability to keep it in your Microsoft account. So you're not like going here, there and everywhere to get tools. Navigate back to the resource group and then we'll see doc parser. So we have to go get API keys, which will be here and then your endpoint will be right here. So endpoint API key. Then we're gonna take the document endpoint, so the doc parser endpoint, and then enter the API key, and then create new connection. All right, so setting up the document intelligence, I've been using the most updated version of the API, and then your you see there's parameters here, pre-built model, uh, dash layout, dash document, pre-built read, et cetera. You want to go pre-built, and this is going to completely depend on what you're trying to do, but pre-built document, and that is has been working for me for the most part. At this point, we're going to save. So let's save it. And then we're going to switch the code view. We're going to scroll down and look for documents analyzer. So actions, analyze document, query parameters. And then we'll need to set the headers to content JSON. So we're going to insert the headers in the code path here. See right there. And then we'll save it. And then if we look on the front end, in edit window, we can see that now we have application JSON. Also, we're gonna add a object here for base64. We're gonna process and convert the base64 that the email gives us and send that to document intelligence because that's a representation of the PDF that we'll be sending in. All right now, we're going to take this and add in the body here. And we're gonna create an expression, but first we're gonna get attachments and we'll get the attachment content. And this is gonna loop through. So if we wanted to get attachment content bytes for one single PDF, 
we'd have to call it by the index. So it's something to keep in mind if you have if you have an email that you're receiving and you're you want to process more documents, you're gonna have to dictate which documents and add in some additional programming. But for this, we're just gonna have a PDF that's gonna be coming in. So let's save this and give it a run. I've got this fake fracking report that I had ChatGPT make up. And we have some boxes, some tables that we are going to target some data with a prompt in a few seconds, minutes. All right, so we sent the document. We got it in the email with this filter. We could see the base 64 right here coming in, right? So it's the input and then the output after it's been translated is this block of text right here. So now we're going to process that with a API call to uh, an open AI model that's hosted in AI Foundry that we just set up. Okay, now let's set up our HTTP request. We're going to go get our URL for our hosted model here in AI Foundry. Come back here, paste it in there, and then we're going to give it a method of post. Then we're going to set the content type to application JSON for the header. And then we're going to set a authorization type of bearer. And then we'll go get our token. So we just type in bearer and we'll go back here and get our token. You're going to want to use parameters and key vault for this if you're adding this in production or just testing it. So we're not going to do all that. This is kind of where the meat of everything is. And I'm going to scroll up so that you can see this. Okay. So we have the prompt here. Try to zoom in on that. You have input and then the role. This is going to be the system prompt. So this is sort of what ChatGPT in this instance sees behind the scenes. And then user. And then we give it more instructions. And then we're going to pass the analyzed results, the text block from analyzed docs into here. When you're designing something like this, you have to keep in mind that there is a context window that you cannot exceed. So you're going to want to test that out on how much data you're going to be dumping into here. And then you set your max output tokens and then your model and we'll go get the model right here. So we added our model in here and then we'll give this a run. But first, we actually need to determine what we want to get out of here. So we'll say that we want the stage. Well, so we could take the stage and then the perf top. And we'll just go with that for right now. And then we'll see if it runs. So as we could see, we ran our flow. We got a report at an email. We added, we, we got the data that from document analysis. Then we sent that to a model in AI Foundry. We gave it the text block as an input from the outputs. We can see that we got the text block coming out and we got exactly what we wanted, right? So we got stage number and then we got the perf top in feet. So the footage. So once you have everything extracted, you could then map this and parse it however you want from there and get it to your end data source write it to your end data source fairly easily. So if you need any help with any sort of document extraction, please reach out. I'd love to work with you on your parsing projects 
and we'll talk to you later. Thank you.